Since when are Adirondack chairs, benches, and picnic tables considered art? When you put together a project that involves student woodworkers and artists, that's when. It's part of a public art initiative that involves functional art sculptures and the Plymouth community. Brian brought us the story. We may not usually equate wooden lawn furniture with artwork, but a collaboration between the Town of Plymouth, Plymouth Center for the Arts, and the Plymouth School System will hopefully have people rethinking their preconceived notions of what art is. This first project is a small project. It's a functional art, functional sculpture project where we've got students and local artists involved in creating pieces of seating and fun, exciting furniture to be placed around downtown Plymouth in the waterfront areas. It'll include Adirondack chairs, benches, and picnic tables that are being built by the Votex students, students at the Plymouth High School. And the art students in the Plymouth High School and local artists will be creating designs to come together and create these pieces so that we can have them be displayed this summer and um, installed on site this summer. Plymouth Center for the Arts' Andrew Kuzman feels that the project creates a better understanding between the public and the art community. I, I think we should be looking at the fact that there's two real advantages to the community. One is that interaction between all levels of community from government down to the student level, um, teachers, people in our, our town hall and so forth. But beyond that, there's a second area of communication that has been proven that these public areas, these public places with public art that are user-friendly create another interaction in the community. They're very popular places for people to meet. They're places where politics can be discussed. They're places that everyone is comfortable and they all have a little pride in it because everybody has a piece of it. Judging by the murals on the wall here in Plymouth South, it would appear that there is no shortage of artists to help out when the time comes. Meanwhile, students in the Votech High School have shown off their woodworking skills since the project was greenlighted around the end of December. Right now, the students have built the pieces and some of them are being finalized. There's benches being finalized in the North Plymouth High School, but all the Adirondack chairs and picnic tables are finished. They're unfinished right now, ready to be primed, and then they will be stored until we can get the artists um, to bring, we'll bring those to the artists in um, April sometime, where they'll begin to do their creations on the actual raw pieces that are done now. Votech principal Jim Hanna was pleased that there were so many students involved in the process. Overall, we probably had about you know, 12 to 15 students involved in the overall process, three or four different staff members overseeing this. And then what we'll do is on our end, we'll hand those off to the town planner, and then we'll also hand our uh, pieces off to art teachers here at both high schools, and they will work with their art students on creating uh, beautiful paintings that'll go on those pieces of, uh, of furniture. By the end of April, they'll select the artist to paint the woodwork, and sometime in June, they'll all be placed throughout the town for people to observe and enjoy. Reporting from Plymouth South High School, Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News.